Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about the pathogen Brucella melatensis. So, what is it? It's a bacteria, it's gram-negative, and it's from the Brucella family. It's small aerobic in cocobacilli. Cocobacilli basically means it's rod-shaped. Um, it is the most common species of Brucella in human illnesses, and it is supposed to be responsible for 70% of all infections. Um, it's mostly found in the Middle East, some Southern and Eastern European countries, and parts of Asia and Latin America, and it's also found in Africa. There are very few cases in the U.S., like 100 to 200 cases a year. As you can see, the green areas, like the U.S., there are very few cases, and then in Southern America and the Middle East, there are a lot of cases. So the main disease associated with this is brucellosis, and it's also known as Mediterranean fever, Malta fever, gastric remittent fever, and redundant fever. And it's caused by many bacteria or brucella bacteria, but mainly B. melatensis is the main, is one of them. So there are about 500,000 cases a year and 100 to 200 of those, as I said, is in the U.S. So what does it do in the body? It enters through an opening of the body, so a break in the skin, the mouth, nose, or eyes, and it gets into the lymph nodes and tissues where it slowly multiplies. Then it can infect almost any part of the body, so the heart, liver, brain, bones, and it causes a lot of swelling and damage. Um, so some serious side effects of it are endocarditis, which is inflammation of the inner linings of the heart chambers, and it also causes inflammation of the joints, testicles, spleen, liver, and central nervous system. So how does it spread? So sheep and goats are the primary hosts for B. melatensis, but um, most people, um, when they come in contact with those animals or their tissues is how they get it. Um, it's zoonotic because that's the spread from animals to people. And it can also be spread by fomites, so consuming infected foods or waters or um, objects with the disease on it. So these are the animals that contain or are the most commonly caused, cause the spread from animals to people. So who does it affect? Veterinarians or people who do work with animals, um, people who work on a dairy farm or ranch, people who work in a slaughterhouse or handle raw meat, people who hunt, people who work in a lab, that contain brucella and eating uncooked meat or unpasteurized milk products. So basically anything, um, well, obviously a lab would have it, but anything with animals or unpasteurized milk because it's spread from animals to people. So the main symptoms of brucellosis are fever, sweating, joint pain, um, headache, abdominal pain, and basically a general feeling of unwell, and there are some other ones here too, like painful lymph nodes and depression, but those are the main ones. Um, but it also has a lot of complications that last after even it's treated, and those are ongoing arthritis, enlarged liver or spleen, chronic hepatosplenic suppurative <laughs> brucellosis, um, infection of your heart, like I said before, um, and possible miscarriage. So some diagnostic tests that are used to diagnose this are stain smears. Here is a picture of the stain used um, to identify it. Um, so it uses this stamp stain and it's not truly acid fast, but they are resistant to decolorization by weak acids and they stain red and they appear as cocobacilli or short rods, um, and they can be in pairs or small groups. Um, so it can also be tested 
through blood and other body fluid tests. So um, samples from your spinal canal, joints, or other parts. And then a tissue biopsy, so samples of bone marrow or other tissue, and imaging. So your provider may order an x-ray, CT scan, MRI, bone scan, ultrasound, or an echocardiogram. And those will take pictures of the inside of your body to see if there are changes to your bones or organs because it causes inflammation and a lot of damage to main organs. So for treatment, um, you will need a combination of at least two antibiotics for at least six to eight weeks. These are the antibiotics the, um, you may be prescribed, but depending on your specific case, you may need other therapies like draining infected areas or managing complications. Um, most people have a full recovery by using antibiotics, but it takes several weeks or months. Brucella can come back after treatment, especially if you don't take the full course of the medication. Some people who have complications like arthritis may need additional drugs or therapies. So prevention. Basically, just don't consume unpasteurized milk. Wear safety gear if you work with animals or animal tissues. And cook your meat to safe temperatures. Um... And also just washing your hands and the surfaces that you use um, raw meat on. And thank you for watching. These are my references.